Aaron Carter's passing was one of the biggest shocks of the entertainment industry in 2022. The former Disney star passed away at the age of 34 on November 5th. His death sent shockwaves through the world, and it's tragic when you hear what his thoughts were regarding the matter. Let's take a look at that and some more news. First up, what did Aaron Carter say about death? When you live the kind of rock star party lifestyle that Aaron Carter did, many would assume that you don't fear death, but that wasn't the case with Aaron. In an interview on The Doctor's Talk Show in 2017, Aaron admitted that an early death was probably the biggest fear of his life. He said that he wanted to live life to his fullest extent, and he clearly needed time to do that. His fears regarding early death were realized when his older sister, Leslie Carter, passed away from a drug overdose at the age of 25 in 2012. He said that he always worried about overdosing as a person who has a long history of drug abuse. He had to kiss his sister goodbye in the coffin, and he didn't want anyone else to do the same for him. He added that his family knew some of his addictions, including his abuse of Xanax. But he said that he knew there was no happy ending if he continued to abuse those drugs. He was in his recovery stages during that 2017 interview, but five years later, his apparent biggest fear came true as he was found dead inside his bathtub. Up next, was Aaron Carter in rehab before he passed away? According to the statement given out by his representative, Aaron Carter was on the road to recovery and was trying his best to stick to the program. He had a son with his ex-girlfriend, Melanie Martin, and although Carter didn't have custody over his child, entering a rehab program and sticking to it would increase his chances of gaining it. His representative added that Aaron worked hard to become a good father to his son, who is currently 11 months old. Melanie Martin was also one of the first people to confirm the news. She was seen crying outside his house and had to give a testament on TikTok, asking fans to give their thoughts and prayers. She said that she and her family are still in the process of accepting the devastating news. Another former girlfriend of his, Hilary Duff, posted an Instagram story paying tribute to the fallen star. She said that she was sorry that life was so tough for him and that he had to struggle in front of the entire world. She admitted that she was deeply in love with him as a teenager and described him as effortlessly charming. Coming up, why Aaron Carter was the Millennium's bubblegum bad boy. There are very few people that transition from the bubblegum act to a bad boy heartthrob act as perfectly as Aaron Carter. There was a time when this guy was absolutely everywhere. He started out as a child singer, having three best-selling albums under his belts by the time he turned 13. He became a household name by appearing on Nickelodeon and touring with the Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears. His career was popping off and he seemed unstoppable. Aaron always kept a perfect balance between his bubblegum image and his bad boy image. There is perhaps no better example than that than his hit single Aaron's Party, Come Get It. This was by far his most popular song to date, selling over 500,000 copies and reaching number 35 on the Hot 100 charts. This was the kind of song that the careers of future stars like Justin Bieber were built upon. He was the Justin Bieber before there even was one. After transitioning into an acting career, Aaron appeared alongside Hilary Duff, the biggest teen idol on the planet, in the hit Nickelodeon film, All That. He would later date Hilary and form one of the biggest power couples that the world of child stars had ever seen. All of that came with one of the most intense followings that any child star had seen up until that point. He was a global icon for teen girls everywhere. T-shirts, mugs, pens, posters, and practically anything that had Aaron Carter's face on it sold like hotcakes. He was absolutely unstoppable. Next, why did Aaron Carter leave the music industry? As we already mentioned, Aaron Carter had it all. He was extremely marketable, had a large fan following, and already had multiple hit albums under his belt. So why, with all the success that he had, did Aaron Carter decide to leave the music industry? Well, it had something to do with his former manager, Lou Pearlman. Lou was the man behind some of the biggest boy bands on the planet, including NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys. Since one of Aaron's brothers, Nick Carter, was also a member of the Backstreet Boys, it was easy for him to get in contact with the music giant and start a budding career of his own. The partnership was pretty lucrative for both parties. However, things quickly turned sour in 2002 when Aaron's parents filed a lawsuit against Lou, alleging that the manager owed them hundreds of thousands of dollars in royalties. This was then followed by lawsuits from both NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys with similar allegations. While the manager would settle with all parties out of court, he would later be indicted for some other problems. In 2008, Lou Pearlman was convicted of running one of the biggest Ponzi schemes the world had ever seen. He left people in over $300 million of debt and became crazily rich from it. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison and died under federal custody in 2016. Up next, how did Aaron Carter's career start to decline? After being released from his music deal and losing some of the charm that he had when he was much younger, Aaron suddenly wasn't getting as many deals as he previously was. Unlike acts like Britney Spears or Justin Timberlake, he was never really taken seriously as a musician, and because of this, it was very 
very difficult for him to transition into a serious act. Sure, he played the bubblegum bad boy act really well, but aside from that, there was nothing really that made him stand out. Aside from that, Carter also started to receive a lot of backlash from parents and haters. It was cool to hate on him since he was the guy for a while, but once he started to lose fame, he started losing his fans too. As for parents, they saw his image as a bad influence on their children, and companies like Disney and Nickelodeon were suddenly hesitant to hire him. Long story short, Aaron's bad boy image was extremely charming when he was younger because most people saw it as an act, but as he grew older and more mature, it became apparent that this was more than just an act. When he talked about partying, he was actually partying. His persona quickly became his reality, and the companies he relied on to earn a living quickly went flying. Coming up, how did this decline affect Aaron? Aaron Carter was a kid who grew up under the spotlight. For pretty much all of his formative years, all he knew was success, and that success kept growing more and more each year. That success obviously started to dwindle in his teenage years, and that likely affected his mental health a lot. He lived a very expensive lifestyle to say the least, and he wasn't making enough money to support that lifestyle. His relationship with his own family started to worsen as well. He got involved with some messy litigation against some of his former employees, and this essentially meant that no one wanted to work for him. In his late teens and 20s, Carter mainly appeared in reality TV shows and game shows to cash in on the nostalgia, but it clearly wasn't enough. By 2011, he was completely burnt out, and his manager announced that he would be entering a rehab facility in California. The manager claimed that it was because Carter needed a mental health break. However, fans knew that the former childhood star was dealing with something far more serious. And finally, his failed revival. Aaron Carter's career seemingly hit rock bottom in 2013, when he filed for bankruptcy. However, he tried to bounce back by announcing the After Party Tour, where he would perform in over 130 shows across North America. While he mainly performed in small venues with minor gates, it seemingly earned enough money for him to never file for bankruptcy again. His career took a bit of a pause after that while he dealt with some more substance abuse related issues. He checked into rehab multiple times during this period, but eventually, in 2018, he released his first album in 13 years. It failed to chart anywhere at all and received mixed reviews from critics. Overall, Aaron Carter's career is defined by a monstrous rise that simply wasn't sustainable. He was thrown away by the entertainment industry, which made him, and it's just another example of how fame at a young age can often be a curse rather than a blessing. That's a wrap for this video. What's your favorite Aaron Carter moment? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.